I believe that the victims of these falls or, or the next of kin, the families of these victims um, do have recourse by law to go after um, the employer, um, if not even the government. I was doing some research as it relates to um, the different ILO conventions that Belize uh, had signed on to and that they have ratified. And in my research, I stumbled across this International Labor Organization Convention Act, Chapter 3041, um, which was adopted or introduced or passed in the House on the 31st of May 2003. ILO Convention Act, Chapter 304, colon, 01. It says that not with, notwithstanding any other law, but subject to the provisions of this act, ILO conventions ratified by Belize as listed in the schedule hereto shall have the force of law in Belize. And that is section three. So the ILO convention 155 lists out what are the obligations of government and what are the standards to be adopted in their local law. Clearly, what happened to Brother Shu and every other laborer or worker that has been injured or that has died as a result of poor safety practices have this ILO Convention Act to fall back on. As in my view, again, I'm no legal mind. But in my humble view, they need to seek legal advice for their attorney to look at this act and to hold those employers who continue to see them getting maimed and losing their life responsible for a hefty, hefty sum of money, including the government. And I think this is important for public officers to familiarize themselves with. Also, in the event that they're injured, that we may very well have an act that that notwithstanding what occurs in the Labor Act or in the OSH Act, the convention shall have the force of law. 